Now let's try the next one for fi finding the percent. So again, we have 18 is, so I'm gonna highlight that pink because that's what the is, that's the part. What percent, so I don't know what that is. So I'm still gonna highlight it purple because that's the percent of nine. So let's set up that proportion. Now remember, if there's any time that I'm going too fast for you, please pause the video, catch up, and then play it when you're ready. So if you're still needing to highlight, go ahead and do that now. So now let's set up our proportion. So 18 over nine, now be careful, that is the is, that's the part, and that's the whole. 18 is what percent, so x over 100. That's using the proportion method. Do your cross products and we have 18 times 100 equals 9 times x and then to solve for x we're going to divide both sides by 9. <clears throat> so on my calculator we're going to 18 times 100 divided by 9. So that's 200 percent. So x equals 200 percent. Well if we only have 9 and it's now 18 Yes, that's going to double, so 200%. So 9 times 2 is 18, and 100 times 2 is 200. So 18 is 200% of 9. Now to use the decimal method, we're going to take x, so that's our percent, we don't know, times the whole number equals 18. That's the part. Now, the opposite of multiplying is we're going to divide by 9. So x equals 2, but don't forget that is the decimal answer. So we still need to move this over two places, so x is in fact 200%. Now let's go ahead and do the last one for this section, and it says what percent of 60, be careful, that's the of, is 78. So be careful when you're highlighting that you know which one is the part and which one is the whole. Okay, so the part is 78, so 78 over 60 equals x over 100. And we're going to do the cross products. Again, if I'm going too fast, go ahead and pause the video to catch up with me. So here are the cross products. We need to divide both sides by 60, and then we're going to use our calculator. So 78 times 100 divided by 60 is 130%. So x equals 130%. And now let's try it with the decimal method. So our percent times our whole equals our part. And the opposite of multiplying by 60 is to divide by 60. Now be careful. Remember this answer is going to be our decimal. We have to change it back to a percent. So 78 divided by 60 is 1.3. Move that over two places. So x is 130%. So we got the same answer but using two different methods.